While people might look past point and click adventures, I find myself wanting to do anything I can to share the genre with everyone. I guess that's why I decided to take on this preview for the Ars Joeshia developed The Blind Prophet. Through its straightforward and approachable gameplay, the opening of the game has me invested in wanting to see the conclusion of this gory adventure. The Blind Prophet opens with Apostle Bartholomew coming across a girl who is about to get sexually assaulted. After a swift pursuit, he ends up catching the person for questioning. You see, Bartholomew Bartholomew has a defined mission, and that's to liberate the corrupted city of Rotbror. His quest leads him to many encounters with the great evil, and up until now he seems to be getting things under control, however, that's all about to change. There are puzzles spread through the Blind Prophet which were complicated enough for me to take a moment to plan on my approach. Taking time to interact with people gives the player insight on how to get through its sections of the game, but nothing comes off as hand-holding. During gameplay, story sections will limit players to an area that they'll need to find clues on how to progress. While game Gameplay focuses mainly on point and click elements, I would have liked it if the developers threw in a few interactive features to help with immersion. To get through sections of the game, players will need to combine items. This led me to some experimentation a few times, but the puzzles do end up lining themselves out, and they make sense in the world of the game. One feature that makes progressing the narrative easier is known as the Stalker's Eye, which allows you to detect objects or persons you can interact with for an additional clue. When interacting with something, there are four options that you can choose. Observe talk, discuss, or use the object, and each of them serve a purpose to progress the scene. The Blind Prophet is a dark adventure that gave some truly nightmarish vibes. The colors are dark with the use of a lot of blacks and reds. The game's comic book art style has beautiful hand-drawn panels that I couldn't help but admire. The backgrounds were very detailed, so detailed that I didn't exactly know what I could and couldn't interact with, which is why I ended up using the stalker's eye quite often. There was one issue that I encountered where I would be able to push to the next area unknowingly, which was probably just the boundaries of the environment not being laid out clearly to me. During my time with the Blind Prophet, I became enamored with the dark themes and point and click offerings. The comic art style is outstanding and I can't wait to see many more environments that the story will lead me through. What's even better are the puzzles that I encountered, which were continually clever and had me thinking outside of the box. The Blind Prophet puts a significant focus on its chilling atmosphere and story elements and I'm looking forward to see what this game has to offer. The Blind Prophet will release on PC soon with the console release to follow.